We are covering some breaking news from overnight this morning. How the victim is doing after a bad car crash on John Nolan. We're also talking about getting a better night's sleep. We'll share the foods experts say you should focus on. And it is quiet for now, but we do have a first warning alert day for the potential of a couple of isolated storms that may produce some large hail and some damaging winds. We'll talk more about it coming up. Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning on your Monday as I try to fix my microphone. It's a, it's a mic <laughs> issues going on. Sorry man. about that. But that's Monday for you. And we're back in business. And we're here. Hello. Thanks All for right. joining us. Yeah. Hey, what a weekend. What oh, it a was weekend. beautiful. Uh, those, uh, it's like spring is here, and with those warm temperatures and that wind, usually blows mm -hmm. something in. So we've got uh, a couple of storms we're watching. Yeah, out something for. to keep an eye on. Kelly Slipka is here to tell us all about it. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, we are talking about. You know, we got up to 73 in Madison yesterday. 73. Hello. We wow. shattered the record for the high of the day, but now we've got a cold front coming in, and usually that can spell some trouble this time of the year. Now, we're not expecting widespread severe weather, but a couple of these storms that fire up do have the potential of producing some hail and some damaging winds. Can't rule out an isolated tornado with the uh, spin in the atmosphere. This will be mainly this afternoon right into the evening downwards, and this will be mainly from Madison to the south. Right now, it's clear. 35 in Madison, 34 in Windsor, 37 in Stoughton. As you progress to the north and west, it is a little bit cooler because we have a front that's stalled out right over southern Wisconsin. So we'll be in the 40s this morning. Start to see some clouds roll in as we go into the Morning hours, some showers developing out there toward Prairie du Chien, Boscobel, Lone Rock. Here we're at 9, 10 o'clock. Most of this holding off to the uh, north and west of the uh, Wisconsin River Valley through the uh, noon hour. But eventually all that will be shifting on to the east. That will bring us an opportunity for some showers and storms. In Madison about 2 to 3 o'clock it looks like. But that's that colder air that's coming in. And a couple of these st cells that develop do have the potential of producing some large hail and damaging winds. Not, once again, not going to be widespread, just enough to... Uh, keep an eye to the sky later today as we'll look at temperatures this morning in the 30s, rising through the 50s as some of those showers start to develop later this morning into the afternoon. We'll talk more about the severe weather potential and some cooler weather as well coming up. All right, talk to you then, Kelly. Back to our breaking news from overnight. Uh, Janesville family is displaced from their home this morning after a fire caused some serious damage. Yeah, multiple crews were on scene around 1.30 a.m. at the house on Randolph Road, just west of the interstate there in Janesville. The fire started in the garage and spread to the first floor of the house. Crews were able to put the fire out quickly. No injuries have been reported, and the cause of that fire still under investigation this morning. Right now, the Red Cross is assisting that family. We're also covering some more breaking news, also from overnight. A person's recovering from significant injuries after their car crashed on John Nolan near the Beltline. It happened last night around 1045 that blocked traffic from the eastbound Beltline for about an hour. The area was clear to drive again before midnight, though. MPD says its officers made no arrests and that one person was involved, just one vehicle. Uh, the driver in that vehicle is expected to survive their injuries. This morning, the search continues for missing three-year-old Elijah Vu. The Two Rivers Police Department is providing an update on its efforts now. In a news release, officials said law enforcement continued rural canvassing on Sunday, following up on tips and leads that they've received. The Two Rivers Fire Department and the National Guard have also joined in on those searches. Now friends and even strangers are joining in looking for the missing boy. Elijah reminds me of my own grandson and my grandchildren. And um, I just couldn't bear if I didn't step up to the plate. Two Rivers Police continuing to ask, sending any information that they deem helpful to that tip line, their number there, 844-267-6648. News 3 Now will continue to keep you updated on those search efforts and other breaking news in your area. You can receive breaking news stories as they happen with the Channel 3000 mobile app. It's free to download. The Wisconsin Department of Justice is still investigating an armed standoff with police that left one person dead in Janesville. Authorities say it happened Friday night on North Parker Drive. The DOJ says an armed person refused to leave a home, trapping two other people inside who were unable to leave. An officer then fired at the armed person who died at the scene from their injuries. No officers were injured in the incident. The one who fired the gun is now on administrative leave. To campaign 2024 now, Nikki Haley is now the first woman to win a Republican primary in American history. She picked up the District of Columbia, her first victory in the 2024 campaign. 
Haley, of course, is still a long shot, trailing far behind former President Donald Trump with 43 delegates nation, uh, nationwide compared to Trump's 247. He's also expected to pick up hundreds more delegates tomorrow on Super Tuesday when voters in 16 states and territories take to the polls. I need each and every one of you to get every patriot that you know and turn them out to vote. Republicans closest to Washington's dysfunction know that Donald Trump has brought nothing but chaos and division for the past eight years. Over the weekend, the former president picked up primary wins in Missouri, Michigan, and Idaho. New CBS polling puts former President Trump ahead of President Biden by four points nationally. Ground will be broken soon for the Center for Black Excellence and Culture right here in Madison. The goal is to bring together a collective black brilliance to affirm, inspire, and advance the black community in Madison and beyond. The center's CEO, Alex Gee, appeared on this week's edition of For the Record to elaborate on the project's mission and how it will, will uh, address the community. They said it doesn't quite feel like home because there's no um, civic and cultural grounding for us. And so this will be a place where our stories are told, our excellence is celebrated, we get to meet each other and, it's a, and interact with each other. And it's a place that really says you belong here in Wisconsin and particularly here in Madison. Mm -hmm. He also addressed the importance of highlighting black culture through the Center for Black Excellence and Culture. He cited the period of time immediately after the Jim Crow laws, saying that culture helped the black community come together and thrive. You can watch the full segment of For the Record on Channel3000.com. All right, time again to check in with Midwest Farm Reports. Pam Yonke. Hey, Pam. Morning, guys. Yeah, I'm psyched up. This is one of the weeks I look forward to. If you've got my job, you're a lucky camper, that's for sure. World Champion Cheese event is getting started in about 24 hours at the Monona Terrace Convention Center. And I'll tell you what, it's not just about what you see at the Monona Terrace Convention Center. It's about all the hard work that has gone on literally months, if not almost years before this event. Uh, happens. Of course, uh, you know that it's going to be at the Monona Terrace Convention Center and it will be something to take in both with your eyes, uh, your nose, and of course your taste buds. We have got more than 3,300 entries from around the world. Now remember, it's not just cheese. There's other dairy products that are going to be there as well. John Umhay, for executive director of the Wisconsin Cheesemakers and I were talking about it. He's, he's always intrigued about the different types of cheese that are coming in. Sri Lanka is kind of a new geography in the world that's got some entries in. Uh, using cow milk, so at least uh, we're recognizing that. And then you take a look at the entry that's coming in from Australia, camel cheese. That's the first time that we had that entry in, but John said it's not unusual. Any mammal that's milking could theoretically be a part of this competition. They've had donkey milk in the past uh, that was part of cheese. So like I said, if you're one of these judges, you have to have your palate ready. I thought it was interesting, too. Remember, none of these people are paid. The judges are not paid. Uh, the cheesemakers are not paid. Even the world champion is not going to receive any financial reward from the world champion cheese contest. It is all about marketing. Umhafer was telling me that one of the cheesemakers that won the world competition a few years back literally had to double their uh, square foot space of their cheese making operation just because of the event and uh, others have told the stories about how they're sold out on specific varieties literally years in advance just because of this one event. Now like I said I'll be down there checking out things uh, the general public is welcome to come down and sample some of these cheeses both Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday is kind of closed to the general public. That's when they'll announce the actual champion. 2 p.m. on Thursday. Follow along at worldchampioncheese.org. Worldchampioncheese.org. But uh, like I said, guys, you get a chance to take it in with your eyes, take it in with your <laughs> nose, and because of those great samples, take it in with your mouth. I know they uh, love to have the interaction with the general public because it gives you a chance to actually talk to some of the judges so long as they're not real busy, ask questions, find out more. And the varieties that you're going to see there may not be something you've picked up lately at your grocery store. So learning opportunity all the way around. Plenty of unique opportunities there. Josh usually goes to yeah. the cheese championship. Yeah. Uh, hopefully he's going again this year with check. Yeah, we will. Room. Sounds delicious. All right, Pam, thank you very much. And really? speaking of Josh, coming up later on News 3 Now this morning, Josh will be in studio. He's highlighting the top five nominations for the Spirit of Service Award this week. Remember, we need your votes. You can vote for your favorite veteran all week long. The winner will get $5,000 to do whatever they want with. Voting on Channel3000.com ends Friday. Josh's first feature of the week will air this morning right after 6 a.m. 
Josh is always looking for inspiration to share in the 608. Reach out on social media or email them if you have an idea you want to see on TV. Well, hey, there are a few good sleep basics. Go to bed and get up at the same time every day. Avoid screens at least one hour before bed and keep your bedroom on the cool side. But Consumer Report says there's a sleep remedy that you might have overlooked. That's eating the right foods. One in three adults do not get the recommended amount of sleep. I fall asleep, wake up two hours later, and then I'm up for like three hours. I usually wake up a few times a night. I wake up every hour. I need to rest a little bit more. But there's more and more evidence pointing to a possible solution. Better sleep may come from a better diet. Studies seem to point to a diet with a lower glycemic index, one that's low in saturated fat and added sugars, and high in fiber. There's evidence that plant-based diets such as the Mediterranean diet can improve sleep in a variety of ways. What are some good things to eat? More fruits, vegetables, legumes, whole grains, and healthy fats from foods like avocados and nuts. Higher fruit and vegetable consumption means greater intake of beneficial antioxidant compounds called polyphenols, which can reduce inflammation, improve heart health, and may help your body relax. Now let's talk about fiber. Along with helping to regulate blood sugar levels, fiber also contributes to a healthy gut microbiome, which is thought to help regulate circadian sleep rhythms. And the gut is involved with making serotonin, which promotes better mood and is involved in sleep regulation. So you'll sometimes see these sensational studies about certain miracle foods that can help you sleep better. But it's really wise not to focus on single foods. The best strategy is to think about improving your diet as a whole, both for your health and for your sleep. Reporting in Madison, Shane Hogan, News 3 Now. Alongside the usual suspects like alcohol and caffeine, foods like red meat, sweets, and refined carbohydrates can get in the way of a good night's sleep. All right, we are tracking some uh, showers and storms that will be moving into our area later this afternoon. Some of these may produce some large hail and damaging winds. We'll have that alert day forecast coming up. And ahead in your morning sports, how some former Badgers fared at the NFL Draft Combine. First warm weather team takes you beyond the barometer, only on News 3 Now. When it comes to what's best in a mattress, big ol' springs, memory foam, springs, foam. Denver Mattress says, why not both? Introducing the Doctor's Choice Hybrid with the cooling full body comfort of gel memory foam and individually wrapped coils featuring Boss technology. All packed in this easy to manage box. Choose from the luxury firm, plush, and Eurotop. And rest easy knowing it's backed by our 365 night better sleep guarantee. The Doctor's Choice Hybrid, exclusively at Denver Mattress. Marlene is proud to celebrate 120 years as a family-owned and operated lumber yard in Wisconsin. Throughout the years, Marlene Lumber and Homeworks has expanded its product lines to include cabinetry, windows, doors, and much more. Our showrooms in Janesville and Madison are state-of-the-art. They're ready for you to see the many ways your building or remodeling vision can come to reality with the help of our in-house designers. Marlene Lumber and Homeworks, for all your building and remodeling needs. Marlene.com, celebrating 120 years. Do you suffer with pain, numbness, and tingling in the hands or feet? Commonly diagnosed as peripheral neuropathy? Are you taking drugs such as Lyrica or Gabapentin that have serious side effects and often do not relieve your symptoms? Your doctor has told you you may just have to live with the pain. Peripheral neuropathy is a result of damage to the nerves, often causing burning, weakness, pain, numbness, tingling, and the most debilitating balance problems. Our facility uses multiple therapeutic methods to help give you relief from neuropathy symptoms with no injections and no drugs. You may start seeing relief after only a few sessions. To determine if your neuropathy symptoms can be relieved, we will do a consultation to evaluate the extent of your condition. Call us today to schedule your neuropathy consultation to find out if you're a candidate for our therapy. Call today. Watch the Bucks on broadcast TV when they battle with the Lakers on your new local home for select Bucks games. Don't miss a second of the action when LeBron and the Lake Show duel with Giannis and the Bucks. It's a clash of the Titans. Bucks, Lakers on your new local home for select Milwaukee Bucks games. Friday at 9 on WISC TV3. 
Attention, Wisconsin residents. If you're looking for individual or family dental coverage and want a dental plan that fits your needs, Momentum Insurance can help. We are a locally owned Madison-based insurance company and a trusted provider of all dental insurance needs with friendly, helpful customer service and high value in coverage and cost. To learn more or enroll, visit our website, MomentumPlans.com. That's MomentumPlans.com. Momentum Plans, dental insurance you can smile about. Watching News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. All right, good morning, meteorologist Kelly Slifka. Just getting out here on the patio, uh, looking at some uh, mild conditions this morning. You know, yesterday, some locations got very close to 80, just unprecedented temp temperatures that we had yesterday. Now we've got a cold front moving in and we could be talking about some stronger to maybe some severe weather moving in. Uh, 77 in Lone Rock yesterday. Boscobel got to a 78, 73 in Madison. Janesville got up to 75. So just unseasonably warm weather for the first weekend of March. Now we are going to be cooling down a little bit. That's because we have a cold front moving in. We do have alert day conditions today. Not going to be widespread severe weather, but with some of these storms rolling in with this clash of air masses, can't rule out an isolated severe storm producing some large hail, damaging winds, can't rule out, rule out an isolated uh, tornado as well. Uh, looks like it'll be dry for the uh, most of the week until we get into Friday. That'll bring in some rain and maybe a little bit of snow mixed in as well. So this front is basically draped right over southern Wisconsin. It's not going to move much, kind of flirting with uh, Madison throughout the morning hours. You can see some snow flying across parts of Minnesota, northwestern Wisconsin. We've got the moisture coming in from the south ahead of this area of low pressure. That's what will tr trigger some of these storms developing. Mainly, let's say 2 to 3 o'clock in the Madison area, a little bit sooner to the west, a little bit later to the uh, south and east, as it's going to be a slow-moving storm system. Once again, not widespread, but some of these isolated storms do have the potential of producing some severe weather. We're under a marginal risk of severe weather, which is the lowest on a category of 1 to 5. We're about a one level here, basically from the uh, Dells areas to the south uh, toward the Illinois border. Right now, it's quiet across southern Wisconsin. We don't have any precipitation, and actually, we do have clear skies for the moment. Clouds will start to increase. You can see the uh, snow flying across parts of Minnesota and Iowa. Then you see some of that rain developing toward Des Moines, Waterloo. That's that moisture that's going to surge in to uh, southern parts of the state and bring us that uh, chance of uh, rain later today into this evening. Then it looks like it'll be dry most of the week until we get into Friday and Saturday. Another system moving in, bringing us a chance of some rain and also some snow. But then we're right back to mild temperatures. Look at this next week. We're talking about temperatures in the 60s. After some cooler weather this weekend, we're going to be bouncing right back uh, well above average, almost uh, 20 degrees above average for this time of the year. Temperatures this morning in the 40s will have clear skies for a little bit, but watching some of these showers moving into southwestern Wisconsin, Prairie du Chien, Platteville here we're at about 10, 11 o'clock, Lone Rock, the Dells, most of this holding to the northwest of Madison at the noon hour. But as we get toward about 2 or 3 o'clock, a lot of the shifts on to the east very slowly. And some of these cells, you see that area of red there in Rock County, southeastern Dane County, maybe over toward Jefferson County. Can't rule out one of these storms that may produce some large hail, uh, damaging winds, and also some uh, isolated tornadoes. This will continue into the evening hours, but after about... 11 o'clock or so, most of this moving on to the east of Madison, and then we're just uh, going to be setting up for a cooler day tomorrow. 35 right now in Madison, 32 in the uh, Dells, 45 yet in Janesville, and across Dane County, even uh, from north to south, you see temperatures vary quite a bit. It's almost 40 right now in Oregon and also Stoughton this morning. Our first warm forecast brings in the alert day for that potential of isolated severe storms this afternoon into the early evening hours. A little bit cooler tomorrow into Wednesday and Thursday, but still running above average. Our next system will be a little bit cooler. Some showers may mix with a little bit of snow, it looks like, by Friday night into Saturday. Otherwise, then we rebound right to, into next week back into the 60s by Tuesday. Clark has taken women's basketball to places it has never been. And yesterday, the Iowa Guard went somewhere that no one has ever been. She became the NCAA's all-time leading scorer for women and men. Her 35 points yesterday against Ohio State give her 3,685 in her career, breaking Pistol Pete Maravich's record in the process. <clears throat> that was set 
In the 1970s, the Des Moines native recently declared for the WNBA draft and is expected to be the number one overall pick. Senior day for Wisconsin women's basketball, of course, including Natalie Leitzinger, her fellow senior, Brooke Schrammick, making the most of her time. Gets the layup to go with one second on the clock. Badgers take a 14-10 lead. And then, of course, there's Sarah Williams. What a year she's had. Scored 17 points in the game, including 10 in the second quarter. What a move. But by this point, Sparty had already taken an 11-point lead. Wisconsin loses their final regular season game of the year, 78-52. Next up is the Big Ten Tournament. The high school girls basketball state tournament bracket was unveiled yesterday, and we've got a quartet of teams from our backyard who made it up to Green Bay. The Edgewood girls play their semifinal on the 7th at 135, while Cuba City will play McDonald Catholic late that same night. And how about this one? A Six Rivers East showdown at state. Argyle Pecatonica playing Albany Monticello on the 8th at 9 a.m. The NFL Combine has concluded for the trio of Badgers that received the invite to Indy. Tanner Bordellini and Braylon Allen worked out this weekend. Allen dwarfing the rest of the running backs. He skipped the 40-yard dash but still showed off his speed and his strength. His 26 reps on bench press were the second most among backs in the entire Combine. And how about big Tanner Bordellini, the Wisconsin junior center who declared for the draft. He had the fastest 40-yard dash and the fastest shuttle drill among all offensive linemen at the combine then he ran the fastest three cone drill ever done by a center his athleticism was absurd now speaking of Braylon Allen before the combine this picture of the Badger star went viral because Allen was only 17 in this picture he is quite muscular and JJ Watt was thinking just the same as you are this is what I looked like when I was 17 so Christian Yelich joined in on the fun saying this is me, the string bean Christian Yelich at 17. So only to be fair, I had to show you what I looked like at 17. And I think I'm in the same camp maybe as JJ and uh, Christian Yelich. That's your morning sports fix. Have a mind-blowing Monday. Thanks, Andrew. Still ahead, another major opening weekend for a new, box, uh, new movie at the box office. We'll talk about it when we come back. Discover something new for your home at Wisconsin's oldest furniture store. Free in-home delivery from Keck Furniture in downtown Watertown. Distinctly different. Go, Daddy, go! Do not go. It's free if I do it, babe. <laughs> Whoa. You need the experts. Let the experts at Feldco make your home renewal project a cinch with free installation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest for five years. Free installation won't last long. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. The Big Shares Tuesday, March 5th. This online day of giving hosted by Community Shares of Wisconsin is an easy way for you to support nearly 70 local nonprofits working on social and environmental justice. Donate now through March 5th at thebigshare.org. Everyone's hyped that Wendy's made the official hamburger of March Madness a buck. Yeah! But Tyler and Toby are on another level. Get it for a buck, get it for a buck. Stay single, stay single. Get hyped with fresh, never frozen beef on Wendy's Dave's Single for a Buck, only in the app. Like a bowl of cherries, life in Attic Angel is healthy and sweet. Our independent and assisted living lifestyles include newly renovated apartments, engaging social activities, and wellness support that is tailored to you. As time marches on, we promote the idea that life can always be a bowl of cherries. Attic Angel Community, the house that angels built. Not everyone knows us, but in southern Wisconsin and northern and central Illinois, we are famous in our field. As a Sloan's technician, customer service is our specialty, whether you come to see us or we come to you. We are in the business of supporting your business, and we are highly trained to work on your John Deere equipment. At Sloan's, our loyalty lies with you. We depend on you, and we are proud to serve you. When it comes to service, you can count on us. Remember, think Sloan's first. Watch the Bucks on broadcast TV when they collide with the Clippers on your new local home for select Bucks games. 
Don't miss a second of the action as the star-studded Clippers fly in from L.A. for a Bruce City beatdown. Fear the deer. Clippers, Bucks, on your new local home for select Milwaukee Bucks games. Monday at 7 on Television Wisconsin. Discover something new for your home at Wisconsin's oldest furniture store. Find heirloom quality furniture at Keck Furniture in downtown Watertown. Distinctly different. All right, time now to talk about the trending story of the day. Yeah, everyone talking about Dune Part 2. We've got another major hit at the box office because this movie, I mean, it's, it's everywhere right now. The highly anticipated sequel cashed in on its opening weekend, raking in almost $82 million, by far the biggest debut of the year so far. Some major stars in this one, too. You got Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya. All sorts of great actors, Austin Butler, Rebecca Ferguson. It just seems like, you know, we had the summer of Barbie and Oppenheimer, and now we've got Dune. It's like there's so much anticipation again about these big movies. It's great. Like, the, the box office theaters doing great. Uh, the, the first one was good. I haven't seen the second one. Yeah, yet. highly um, recommend. If you've, got, if you've got three hours to spend... I know, it's just, it is riddled with stars everywhere yeah, you look it's great in movie. that film. Right. Uh, we're going to check in with Kelly here in a moment about the risk we could see some storms. We're back right after this. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. I suffered with knee pain for almost four to five years. I wanted to have the conformis after looking at all the different options. I think having the surgery with the ortho team is the only way to go. They all look out for you as a patient. When replacing your windows, you want them to be built by the best and backed by the best. That's what you'll get with replacement windows only available from Renewal by Anderson. When you choose Renewal by Anderson and want to keep remodeling, you're not getting a one-size-fits-all product. From design and sales to manufacturing, installation, and service, we own the entire process. This month only, save $377 per window and $777 per patio door. Plus one year, no payment, no interest financing. Visit wantakeepremodeling.com for more details. Introducing Gloria's Mexican Restaurant, your destination for authentic Mexican cuisine and craft cocktails. We're proud to offer delicious dishes made from the best ingredients. Whether a family meal or a special event, Gloria's has you covered. Visit us today. Sir Jenian's Landfill Free Guarantee has kept more than 20 million pounds of commercial and residential carpet and pad from area landfills. Visit Madison's largest showroom of flooring options, including eco-friendly products. Local. Sustainable. Sir Jenian's. When a crane collapsed during construction of a Major League Sports Stadium, three workers lost their lives. Their widows called us. When maintenance workers were permanently injured by an industrial accident at a public utilities power plant, the seven injured workers called us. When a factory exploded, injuring dozens of workers, 18 victims, including all three families of men who lost their lives, called us. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. Oh, the weather. What's the chance of rain tomorrow? Ooh, 80%. I make it rain. I make it rain. Speaking of making it rain, at Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, we have an average 95% payout, which leads you to more chances of playing longer and more chances to win big. Play longer, win more, chances are you're gonna like it. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. Meet Madison Magazine's Chef of the Year. Learn why Jamie Brown Sukasumi earns raves for her next-gen take on Southeast Asian cuisine. And visit a local farm that brings you closer to the food you eat. Madison Magazine, online and on newsstands now. 
Madison Magazine presents The City Guide, your ultimate resource for Madison area adventures. With inside tips on where to eat, what to do, and places to see. Available now on area newsstands or online at madisonmagazine.com. Join Dr. Ashish M. Ravel on March 14th at 5.30 p.m. to learn how the Conformis Custom Knee Implant may be the solution to end your pain. To register for the free online talk, visit stotonhealth.com and click on Classes and Events. Breaking news overnight, we will bring you an update on a bad car crash on John Nolan Drive. And the Biden administration ramping up the rhetoric this morning. What a ceasefire deal between Israel and Hamas could look like. And we are tracking the alert day because of the potential of some severe storms developing later this afternoon into the evening. We'll track it for you coming up. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning here on a Monday. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Shane Hogan. Thanks for waking up with us. We had some great weather over the weekend, and now we're kind of getting the other side of this spring flux that we're in right now. Right, some spring storms yeah. uh, in the forecast. Kelly Slifka is timing it all out and tracking it for us. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, beautiful weekend. We got up to uh, 73, uh, shattered the record of 70 yesterday. Just a beautiful day. It was windy, but that's out ahead of a storm system that's going to bring in a front that's going to stall over the area. And especially this afternoon, we don't, we can't rule out some showers and storms. And some of these storms, very isolated, may produce some large hail. Uh, damaging winds and can't even rule out an isolated tornado. Uh, once again, this will be mainly later this afternoon into the early evening hours. That'll be the best opportunity for seeing some of those strong to severe storms. Uh, kind of a contrast to temperatures. We're at 35 in Madison. You go down to Janesville, south of the front, it's 41. While it cools off quite a bit, north of that front right now, it's down to 28 in Camp Douglas. So we have clear skies right now. We should see a little bit of sunshine as that sun is coming up this morning. But the clouds will win out here at 10 o'clock. You see some showers, Prairie du Chien, Boscobel, Lone Rock, as we get toward 10, 11 o'clock. A lot of that holding to the north and west of Madison uh, toward the Wisconsin River Valley at the noon hour. So I think in Madison, maybe 2 to 3 o'clock, so some of these showers and storms rolling on in. And you see some of these isolated storms that show up some red down to the south and east of Madison toward Rock County that may produce some large hail and damaging winds. That'll be mainly mid-afternoon hours toward the early evening hours. Uh, as we'll have that opportunity for some of those stronger storms to develop. So this morning, no problems. The kids headed off to the bus stop. Temperatures warming into the 40s, eventually into the 50s with that chance of storms as they're headed home from school. Temperatures in the upper 50s. More on the severe weather threat coming up. All right, Kelly, thank you. Breaking news overnight, a person's recovering from significant injuries after crashing their car on John Nolan Drive near the Beltline last night. This happened at about 1045 last night. The incident blocking traffic from the eastbound Beltline for about an hour. The area was clear to drive through again before midnight. MPD says its officers made no arrests and that only one car was involved. The driver is expected to survive. News 3 Now will continue to keep you updated on breaking news in your area. You can receive breaking news stories as they happen with the Channel 3000 mobile app. It's free in the App Store. Nationally this morning, a Supreme Court decision could come as soon as today in the case of whether Donald Trump can be kicked off of ballots in multiple states. This is all over the efforts to undo the results of the 2020 presidential election. Trump is challenging the Colorado Supreme Court's decision to remove him from the state's primary ballot. That election takes place tomorrow, Super Tuesday. Now, if the court doesn't make a decision today, Trump's name will remain on the ballot in Colorado. Colorado is just one of 15 states holding GOP primaries tomorrow. More than a third of Republican delegates are at stake. Another state holding its Republican primary tomorrow is Maine. That state also barred Trump from its ballot pending the court's decision. Tomorrow's primaries come after Nikki Haley won her first primary against Trump yesterday in Washington, D.C. But even with those 19 new delegates, Trump is leading Haley by more than 200. Tomorrow could be her last chance to make significant headway against the former president. Meanwhile, President Biden is on the ballot tomorrow, also for Super Tuesday. Tomorrow's primaries come after a wake-up call for the administration in Michigan. The president won, but 13 percent of Democrats voted uncommitted. Right now, the campaign is focused on drawing the contrast between Trump and Biden's policies, especially when it comes to reproductive rights. Just yesterday, the first lady was in our state to make that point. Here's what she had to say about Donald Trump. Now he's bragging about killing Roe v. Wade. 
Just the other day, he took credit again for enabling states to pass cruel abortion bans that are taking away the rights of women to make their own health care decisions. How far will he go? While the First Lady was in Waukesha, the President picked up an endorsement from the state's Superintendent of Schools, Jill Underly. In her endorsement of the President, she said the administration has prioritized student and educator wellness, the mental health of our students, protecting kids from gun violence, and getting quality early childhood programming to every kid so they can learn to read and be ready to read to learn. It's my tremendous honor, she said, to endorse President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris for re-election. After international outcry following the release of this video showing Israeli military trucks ramming into Gazans as they scramble for aid, the Biden administration is now shifting its tone on the war significantly. Take a listen. Given the immense scale of suffering in Gaza, there must be an immediate ceasefire. This would allow us to build something more enduring to ensure Israel is secure and to respect the right of the Palestinian people to dignity, freedom, and self-determination. That call for a ceasefire follows an announcement from the Gaza Health Ministry that the war has killed more than 30,000 Palestinians. The rising number of deaths comes as Washington hosts an Israeli government official this week. CBS News' Naomi Ruckham reports. There must be an immediate ceasefire. Strong words from Vice President Kamala Harris as she gets set to meet with Israeli War Cabinet member Benny Gantz in Washington today. The meeting comes as a U.S. official tells CBS News Israel has essentially endorsed a framework agreement that could include a six-week pause in fighting and the release of some hostages. There is a deal on the table. Hamas needs to agree to that deal. Saturday, the U.S. airdropped about 38,000 meals into Gaza, though critics say it's not nearly enough to stave off starvation. The Biden administration says it's the first of many airdrops, and it has also called on Israel to do more to allow humanitarian assistance into Gaza. They must work to restore basic services. Israel defense officials said it had eliminated 100 militants from Gaza in an operation Sunday. Azul. After strikes in southern Gaza, rescuers called out the names of those believed to be trapped beneath the rubble. Also Sunday, IDF officials announced that their review found that the deaths of more than 100 Palestinians who had gathered to receive aid in Gaza City last week were mostly the result of a stampede and that Israeli forces only fired warning shots in self-defense, though some Hamas-backed officials say the crowd was fired upon. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News. The meeting between Washington and Israel follows an announcement from a bipartisan group of senators about Israeli aid. That proposed legislation would also address the migrant crisis and provide foreign aid to Israel and Ukraine. If approved, the government will be able to significantly restrict illegal immigration at the border. The $118 billion bill would include $60 billion for Ukraine and $14 billion for Israel. More news from Congress now. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says Democrats and Republicans have a long-term plan to fund the government. The funding is for the current fiscal year that began back on October 1st. Since then, the government operated under a series of short-term bills. Here's what Senator Schumer had to say about the challenges that made this process take so long. The biggest hurdle is there's an extreme group of hard-right MAGA Republicans, mostly in the House, some in the Senate, that want to cut everything. Everything, all the things you think we need, whether it's veterans or the military or law enforcement, as well as programs like housing and feeding people, they want to cut everything, but they were beaten back. Republicans in the House say the long process resulted in key conservative policy victories, including sharp cuts to agencies critical to the president's agenda. Congress has until Friday to pass the bill. All right, time to check in with Midwest Farm Reports, Pam Yonke. Hey, Pam.
It was a beautiful Friday up in Dora County, and I tell you what, I was happy to be there. So were six young women that would like to be Wisconsin's next agriculture ambassador. I'm talking about the Allison Dairyland program, and we've got six outstanding finalists that want to be the 77th Allison Dairyland. Now, they're going to go through about uh, three more months of training and interviewing before we reach May 2nd through the 4th up in Dora County. That is when the finals will be held, and we'll learn the identity of our next Alice. Let me introduce you just real quick to the six that were recognized on Friday. Starting off with Sierra Essek. She's from Fox Lake. She's currently an agriculture educator and FFA advisor at Houston Spur Junior and Senior High School and uh, wants to be our next Alice in Dairyland. She grew up on her family's dairy farm in Fort Atkinson, went to school at UW River Falls. Then we've got Haley Heinzel from Oconomowoc. Haley is a senior at UW-Madison studying life sciences communication, active in her high school's FFA chapter before before she went to UW-Madison. Uh, she also has certificates in farm and industry short coursework and agribusiness management and dairy farm management. Haley Hensel, Heinzel. Katrina Hosley from Denmark is next. She's currently a student at UW-River Falls going after a degree in... Uh, uh, degree in agriculture, marketing, communications, and ag business. She's been involved in the Ag Business and Marketing Society, the College of Ag and Food and Environmental Sciences Student Advisory Council, and UW River Falls Dairy Club. Katrina Hosley from Denmark. Here's Michaela King from Big Bend. She grew up on a farm in southeast Wisconsin. She was active in 4-H, showed beef and dairy cattle at the county state levels, and uh, is also a degree recipient from University of Minnesota, studied journalism and photography with a minor in management. Michaela King from Big Bend. Kylie Pagel is another one of our finalists. She is from uh, the Kiwani area. University of Wisconsin Green Bay is where she is currently a student. Should get, graduate in May with a degree in business administration. She's a marketing advisor right now for the Pagel family businesses in the Kiwani area. And then our final finalist, Lauren Seamers from Kiel. She will graduate in May from UW Oshkosh with a degree in marketing. She grew up on her family's uh, dairy farm, uh, Seamers Holsteins in Northeast Wisconsin, been very involved in the dairy industry. So there's your six finalists. Now, if you want to see more on their background, their biography, their snippets up at aliceindairyland.com. That's also the same place where you can find tickets available for the finale that will be up in uh, Door County. That's again coming up May 2nd through the 4th. And you can find out about where our current Alice in Dairyland, Ashley Hagenau, is going to be all in one spot, aliceindairyland.com. And those young ladies are going to be busy, busy, busy for the next few weeks getting just uh, acclimated to what it's like to be like uh, the agriculture ambassador for Wisconsin agriculture. Glad to have them. For the Midwest Farm Report on a Monday morning, I'm the fabulous Farm Bay Pam Yankee on News 3 this morning. Thank you very much, Pam. Kelly? Yeah, we are waking up to us. Get a fresh coat in one coat, now at Menards. Dutch Boys Forever Interior Paint and Primer offers powerhouse protection with its stain-blocking, odor-reducing technologies. Get a gallon of flat for $29.98 after rebate. Give your space the platinum treatment with Dutch Boys Platinum Plus Interior Paint. Its stain shield technology protects your spaces with a performance you'd expect from a luxury paint at a price you wouldn't. A gallon of flat is $36.48 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Welcome to Badgerscape Design and Landscape. We offer a full range of landscaping services from design to maintenance. Our professional team is dedicated to meeting all your landscaping needs. Call us at 608-295-1446 or visit badgerscapedesignandlandscape.com. Protect your home with a reliable generator from Generac, the industry leader. Richland Home Power offers expert installation and a range of power solutions for your home. Visit us at Richland Home Power, a Generac authorized dealer. Furniture, downtown Watertown, distinctly different. Watch the Bucks on broadcast TV when they collide with the Clippers on your new local home for select Bucks games. 
Don't miss a second of the action as the star-studded Clippers fly in from L.A. for a Bruce City beatdown. Fear the deer. Clippers, Bucks, on your new local home for select Milwaukee Bucks games. Monday at 7 on Television Wisconsin. Hello, Wisconsin Insurance Brokers. Are you seeking outstanding dental coverage options? Momentum Insurance is your answer. A locally owned Madison company, we specialize in meeting Wisconsin residents' dental insurance needs. Our comprehensive coverages, competitive commissions, bonus programs, and online portals are what set us apart. Partner with us to elevate your group dental offerings. For details, visit our website at MomentumPlans.com. Momentum Insurance, your partner for outstanding dental coverage. Tonight at 6, extreme winter conditions in January left Madison's roadways a mess. But a new solution is on the horizon, which could be better for drivers and the environment. We have to do what we need to do to try to preserve our groundwater and our, and our lakes. I'll show you how the local USDA Forest Products Laboratory developed a formula for treating roads and how it could help solve the salt problem. It prevents that bond from the snow to bonding to the pavement. Tonight on News 3 Now at 6. News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. All right, good morning, meteorologist Kelly Slifka out on the uh, patio. We still have clear skies. The uh, sun will be up here shortly. That's the great news about uh, March as the uh, days are getting longer here. Spring-like weather yesterday. In fact, we hit 73, set a new record high, but we've got some colder air moving in. That clash of air masses does prompt an alert day for the possibility of a couple of isolated strong to severe storms. Can't rule out some hail, some damaging winds, even an isolated tornado. We'll kind of time that out for you coming up. And for the rest of the week, it won't be quite as warm as we've been. Obviously, we were in the 70s yesterday. We'll be in the 50s, still running above average. And later in the week, we'll see another system move in, bring us a chance of some rain. And some of that rain may mix with a little bit of snow. Temperatures today, not the 73 we hit yesterday, but still running well above average as we'll be in the upper 50s. Some areas to the south and east may be well into the 60s today with this front just right now draped over the Madison area. So it's a little bit warmer to the south and east, a little bit cooler to the west. And actually, they're seeing some snow flying across parts of Minnesota. This area of low pressure is basically getting a track to the north and east. And as that system spins into uh, southern Wisconsin, can't rule out a couple of these storms firing up to produce some large hail damaging winds, even an isolated tornado, just because there's enough spin around that area of low pressure. This will be mainly mid-afternoon hours toward the evening hours. That'll be the opportunity. And it's basically from the Adels areas to the south, a marginal risk of severe weather. This is the lowest on a scale of one to five. So it's not going to be widespread, but just enough of a clash of air masses that can produce some of these isolated strong to severe storms. Right now, Doppler track not picking up anything locally. You would have to go out west into Minnesota. They're seeing some snow flying. Uh, warmer down toward Des Moines, Waterloo. That's that moisture that's going to be uh, moving to the north and east into southern Wisconsin. First of all, hitting south southwestern Wisconsin, then eventually us. All right, our upper level air pattern, we continue to see mild temperatures for now. We'll get a little bit of a cooler air coming our way, it looks like, for the rest of the week, but still running above average until later in the week into the weekend. So here's our future track as we time this out. So quiet this morning, and I think most of the rain for the morning hours that we'll be developing will be off to the west, basically along the Wisconsin River Valley and, and points to the west, up toward Camp Douglas. Uh, Boscobel, Lone Rock can, can rule out, can't rule out some of these showers before the noon hour. I don't think we'll see these in Madison until about 2 to 3 o'clock. And you know some of these cells that come out of Illinois toward Greed and Rock County, maybe even southeastern Dane County, see some of those reds showing up headed into Jefferson County, the Watertown area. Some of these may produce some large hail and damaging winds. They'll be very isolated, but uh, that's what we're tracking for later this afternoon into the evening hours. A lot of this should wind down after 11 o'clock toward midnight. 35 right now in Madison, 41 in Janesville, 32 in the Adels, 31 in Lone Rock, and also Boscobel across Dane County, 37 right now in Sauk City, 39 in Sun Prairie, and 39 also in Stoughton. So our first warm forecast, we do have the first warm alert day for that possibility of an isolated shower or storm that may produce some large hail or damaging winds. Later this afternoon, quiet tomorrow and still mild, just not as warm as we've been in the lower 50s. Another system will bring us some rain, might mix with a little bit of snow. It looks like Friday night into Saturday morning. Temperatures cool off back in the 40s by the weekend. All right, keep us posted on that uh, chance for storms, huh? Yeah, we'll be keeping an eye on this once again. This is not going to be widespread. It's going to be some isolated storms, uh, let's say, after 2, 3 o'clock this afternoon. Sounds good. Thanks, Kelly.
All right, coming up later here on News 3 Now this morning, uh, in less than 30 minutes, Josh Ryder is going to be live. He's highlighting the top five nominations that we've gotten for our Spirit of Service Award. We're asking for your vote to narrow down the finalists to one winner. You can vote at channel3000.com until Friday. Josh's first feature will air just after 6 o'clock this morning. Hey, remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. You can reach out on social media or email him for a chance to be featured. Coming up in the morning sprint, all the top stories you need to start your day. And ahead at the top of the hour, a sleep remedy that you might be overlooking and how it can help you catch up on your rest. Charlotte Deleste, News 3 Now at 4, 6, and 10, moving forward. Like a bowl of cherries, Life in Attic Angel is healthy and sweet. Our independent and assisted living lifestyles include newly renovated apartments, engaging social activities, and wellness support that is tailored to you. As time marches on, we promote the idea that life can always be a bowl of cherries. Attic Angel Community, the house that angels built. Come on, Michael, come on. Get your eyes in. Well, actually, here's the play. Stanton Optical makes glasses in 30 minutes. It's easy on three. One, two, three. Easy. easy. Hut. Hey. Oh, my God, you got this. Come on, come on, turn. My God, catch. I can see. You did it. I did it. 30 minute glasses? Now that's an easy play. Stanton Optical. Easy's our thing. At the Century House. Take 10% off our extensive collection of stressless recliners and sofas, or get $400 off stressless Max and Mike recliners in luxurious Paloma leather, or classic power base recliners in any cover. Plus, get 10% off the new Stressless Sky customizable luxury mattress. Shop the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. The world's largest consumer bicycle show, Bikerama, is this weekend at Madison Lion Energy Center. Spring is coming, so is the 28th annual Bikerama, and admission is free. Dozens of factory reps for all the major brands will be on hand to answer your questions about the new 2024 model. All at the lowest prices of the year. Test ride e-bikes on huge indoor test tracks. Clothing, helmets, parts, and accessories up to 90% off. Half price inner tubes. All bicycles include free local service. The 28th annual Bikerama at Madison Lion Energy Center. This weekend starts Friday at noon through 5 o'clock Sunday. Craving Tex-Mex in the Midwest? Look no further than me and Julio Restaurant in Fitchburg. From our authentic dishes to our inviting atmosphere, there's something for everyone at me and Julio. Start with our delicious starters and drinks, then move on to our mouth-watering entrees and mains. Whether it's a casual meal or a special occasion, we're here to make your dining experience memorable. Visit us today at me and Julio Restaurant. Tex-Mex goes Midwest. News 3 Now and Vortex present the Spirit of Service, a tribute to those who've gone above and beyond in our community. Over the past few weeks, you've nominated a veteran in our community who's making a real difference. Now it's time for you to vote for the finalist. Visit channel3000.com, read their stories, and vote for the deserving finalist. The lucky winner will be announced on March 11th. The Spirit of Service Award, presented by Vortex. Five fifty-two. time for the morning sprint. We are following some breaking news from overnight. A Janesville family is displaced right now after a fire caused some serious damage. Uh, this happened at their home. Uh, it started at the garage, spread to the first floor of the house. Crews were able to put it out quickly. No injuries reported. The fire is under investigation. We do know the Red Cross is helping out the family. This morning, one person is recovering from significant injuries after a car crash late last night. It happened at about 1045 on John Nolan Drive. MPD says traffic from the eastbound Beltline lanes were closed for about an hour. MPD says it didn't make any arrests and that only one car was involved there. The driver is expected to live. People who test positive for COVID no longer need to isolate for five days. That's the new guideline from the CDC. Now, people who have COVID uh, should stay home until their fever, uh, until they don't have a fever anymore without medication for 24 hours. 
their symptoms also need to be improving. Still, they should continue taking precautions, like wearing a mask for five days. Right now, the Wisconsin Department of Justice is investigating a police shooting that killed one person. This happened Friday. Police in Janesville say an armed standoff on North Parker Drive started it all. The DOJ says an armed person refused to leave a home, trapping two others inside. An officer opened fire on that person and killing them. The officer that did that is currently on administrative leave. A man is facing charges this morning for crashing into a local business while drunk. The Grant County Sheriff's Office arrested 23, the 23-year-old on Saturday night. They say he was driving drunk and crashed into a Montfort ice cream shop. The building's got a lot of damage. The man is okay. He's facing a first offense OWI. A ruling on whether Donald Trump can remain on the Colorado primary ballot could come as soon as today. If the court doesn't release a decision today, Trump will remain on the ballot for tomorrow's primary. The Colorado Supreme Court barred Trump from the ballot, citing the 14th Amendment's insurrectionist clause. That ruling won't go into effect unless the U.S. Supreme Court rules on Colorado's favor today. A recall alert for some Trader Joe's products. The grocery store is recalling over 60,000 pounds of its steamed chicken dumplings soup. It's all over fears it could be contaminated with hard plastic. The impacted products have been uh, identified with Best Buy dates of March 7th, 2025. No illnesses have been reported so far. Owners of the products in question should discard them or take them back to Trader Joe's for a full refund. This week, you can hear from the finalists for UW Lacrosse Chancellor. The three candidates are James Beebe, Christopher Olson, and Interim Chancellor Betsy Morgan. Campus and community forums to meet the three finalists are today from 1.30 to 2.30 also through Wednesday. The search committee will make its pick next month. More information on the candidates that's available on channel3000.com. All right, good morning. Five minutes away from a six o'clock. We do have a first warrant alert day for the potential of some isolated strong to severe storms. Let's say between two, three o'clock in the afternoon into the early evening hours. This will be mainly from Madison areas to the south. Uh, isolated uh, tornadoes possible, hail and some damaging winds. This is not gonna be widespread, but at least a couple of these storms firing up. Most of this holding on to the west of Madison toward Lone Rock and the Dells, Bosqueville area this morning. As we get toward two, three o'clock, Notice some of these reds showing up on the radar. That would indicate some possible hail with some of those storms rolling through. A lot of this will wind down as we get toward the midnight hour. Temperatures today in the 50s with a north wind picking up at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Quiet but mild weather for the rest of the week.